This is Tristan with Victris Games. Hello and welcome back. In this video, I will explain how to use the Advanced Projectile Extension, which helps you control how a projectile moves, including speed, acceleration, distance, and lifetime. I'll be using the example game that's included in GDevelop. This example is using the Fire Bullet extension. So if I click anywhere, it'll start firing. With the Fire Bullet extension, the bullets travel at a constant speed. This extension will ena enable you to speed up for instance, if you want to do a, an effect like a rocket, let's say we start at a, a slow speed like this. This is a constant speed, but if we apply an acceleration, they, they will look like they're taking off, like, like a rocket that's propelling faster and faster. Uh, one of the other things you can do is set a maximum speed. So uh, this current method, they will accelerate forever and ever, and eventually they'll be going probably way faster than you want them to go. So let's set a max speed. So they'll accelerate and then once they hit that max speed, they'll they'll go to the max speed and not any faster. Okay, the other thing you can do is, uh, what if you want to throw throw like a hand grenade? What you can do is use a negative acceleration. So if you have a high starting speed, and then a negative acceleration, this is negative three hundred. The starting speed is five hundred. It'll go until it stops. These uh, bullets will just sit here until you do something with them. Uh, one thing you can do is delete them after a certain amount of time, and that's included in this extension. So if we set the extension lifetime to 1.1 seconds, or e even, let's just say, 2 seconds, because in this case they'll come to a stop and then explode based off that timer. You can also set a max distance from the starting position. So if you want to give set a range on your weapon, you can set this, this max distance value. Oh, I forgot to demonstrate minimum speed. Let's do a negative acceleration. They will come to a stop, but if you set a minimum speed, they will slow down, and once they hit the min speed, they'll just travel at that minimum speed. So these are really useful things to control how your projectile moves. Let's start from a completely blank example so you can see how to use them in your game. We'll create a new scene. I, of course, like dark scenes, so dark background. Let's add an object. Let's use this green arrow. All right, so this is a green arrow object. We're going to give it the advanced projectile behavior. And if you look at these defaults, everything's set to zero. Basically, what that means is that uh, nothing's going to happen unless we change those values. All right, let's set its starting speed to 100. What that will do is it'll move in the direction it's facing at that starting speed. So we could point it in any direction. And the direction that it's facing is the direction it will move. Okay, so that's starting speed. Let's set acceleration to 1000. And let's see how this looks now. Uh, let's set a max speed on that so that it doesn't accelerate too fast. Let's set the max speed. So it's going to start at zero and it will speed up until it hits 500. Let's see if we can even see that. Yeah, there it goes. Okay, delete object when distance is exceeded. Let's set the distance of 600 pixels. Let's try that. There, it got deleted because it hit that limit. And you have to have this checkbox, which by default these are enabled. Let's try the same thing with the uh, lifetime. Let's set a lifetime of one second. I'm going to take off the max distance, so just go back to zero. Okay, so you can control everything in this extension, like setting up your how your projectiles are going to move, just using these properties. You don't even have to use events if you don't want to. However, if you want to build like an upgrade system where, the, say, the max distance changes based off of the level of the object, you would do that through uh, an action like this. Max distance from starting position, you could say set to... Let's make it real short, 200 pixels. And now you can see that that got deleted really quick. Let's change it to 400, should go twice as far. You can change all the properties of this behavior using actions. Let's say we wanted to do something other than delete the object when it hit its, these limits. So for instance, when the distance from starting position is exceeded, instead of deleting, uh, we'll uncheck this. We could do a condition that checks when the max distance has been exceeded. And then when that happens, 
let's stop its movement and we will just make it spin. This could be used in a game where after you throw your spear, let's see you only have one, it stops and waits for you to pick it up. And so that's just one use case of how you could use these conditions after distance or lifetime timer has been exceeded. You can also reset those lifetime timer or you can also change the starting position to the current position. So you can basically restart the values that the, that the projectile uses. I hope you found this video and this extension very valuable. I plan to use it on some of my games and I think it's going to help you in yours. If you want to support me in creating more helpful tutorials like this one or advanced extensions like the advanced projectile extension, you can become a member on my Patreon page where you can support extensions, tutorials, or both. And I will mention your name in one of these videos. Remember to follow me at Victorious Games on Twitter to see what else I'm working on. Please subscribe to this channel and I will see you on the next video.